Welcome back. Māori Party co-leader Peter Sharples has announced he'll be stepping down at the next election after a disappointing result in the Ikaroa Rāwhiti by-election. Sharples says he will move on for the sake of party unity. The party, the party has its AGM next week where it will be decided who will replace Peter Sharples and how the party can survive the setback. Some commentators say a merger with the Mana Party would be the party's best option. I'll speak to Mana Party leader Huni Harawera in just a few moments. But first, this report by Suze Metherill. I just cannot for the life of me wonder why people give their votes to somebody who can stand up and say a joke. Frustration and disappointment. Last Saturday night you could see it in their faces. The Māori party devastated, they'd come third. On the night it was left to co-leader Peter Sharples to try and find answers. To see the political party uh, divided over an issue, uh, they don't like it. So, and we don't like it. We want unity, so we've got to deal with it. On Saturday night, the body language was obvious. Sharples kept his distance from leadership challenger Te Uroa Flavu, who will now try to help himself to the co-leader's role. That won't be formally decided until the party's AGM next weekend, a time when the party can ask why it is failing to appeal to voters. So easy for others to walk around and say, we're going to do this and we're going to do that and we're going to do this. And you know jolly well, unless they're in the seat of government, that they can't do a thing. And, and the very things they said they're going to do, we're actually doing. So how do you get that message across to our people? The party has failed to sell their relationship with National. We stand for improving welfare. We are Māori. And we stand for two Māori might. The Māori Party has its roots deep in traditional culture and society, which makes any talk of a merger with the younger, more urban Māna Party a big ask. We're not together, that's the point at this time anyway. So we've, we parted uh, a little while ago and we've, they built up a separate party and so, you know, we're not together. There's not really much enthusiasm within the Māori Party for a merger. Anything is possible. In this politics thing, you just can't discount anything at all. But quite clearly, uh, we've got an AGM coming up soon, and we'll be discussing all these issues and working out what we can do. The Māori Party has only three MPs in Parliament, and come 2014, two of them will be retiring. That's when we need everybody on deck, one way or the other, to maintain the momentum that we're picking up tonight to go forward into next year's election. Flavel says the party needs to target the younger generation. But the Māori party had the oldest of all the party candidates running in the largely young Ikaroa Rafiti electorate. So if Flavel becomes leader, he will have the tough task of cleaning up the party's confused image in voters' eyes. And will it be too little too late? Is this the beginning of the end for the Māori party?